speakers or for presentations. The first one is LACNAC's board. After that, we will have a keynote and then the hackathon closure. And finally, we will <clears throat> have a session with LACNAC's program committee. Let's therefore begin with the report. We'll welcome LACNAC's board, Erika Vega, who is a member of the board. So if you can please take the stage for your presentation. She's the treasurer of the board. She is the woman who manages our resources. So even more power to her. A big round of applause for Erika. Thank you, Jorge, for your introduction. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our LACNOG um, session within the LACNIC 41 event. My presentation right now is to show you an update from the board. Many of you might know us. But we have some news for you, what we're working on. And, and for those of you who might not be as familiar with our operation, with LACNOG, with our mission, please reach out and join us. So LACNOG is the Latin American and Caribbean network opera of operators. We're a civil association and we are an international nonprofit. Our HQ is in Montevideo, Uruguay, at the same headquarters as LACNIC. This civil association is made up of different actors in charge of operating internet networks across the region. Participation is individual, not as an organization. And what is also important to remember is that, that there is no membership fee for LACNOC, unlike in other, in other regional organizations. This year, we celebrate our 14th anniversary. Our mission is bringing operators together from across the different countries in the region to exchange experiences, participate in events, organize events in different cities in the region to strengthen our relationship between network operators and different experts in the field and internet operations. We want to become a model as an association when it comes to internet operations and we also contribute with our work, our time, it's voluntary effort to promote the knowledge generation and contributing to innovation and support the new uh, the adoption of new protocols, standards, and best practices across the region. Our objectives, as I mentioned before, are to, well, we want to expand our vision before international organizations around the needs and how operators work in the region. 
We also share recommendations and operational best practices. We address the needs of our operators as they reach out to the different task forces and working groups, as we will see in a minute. We provide training, we help disseminate documentation, we encourage engagement in the different events that take place across the region as well. Our organizational culture, LACNOX organizational culture, as I said before, all the work that we do is voluntary. Most of the activities that we carry out are not in person, but rather remote. We deploy our work and we deploy our employment across the region. So many of the things that we do and a lot of content generation is done by each member individually and not in person. So we promote and we encourage cultural diversity, efficient communication and ethical behavior across the extended LACNOG members and all of the operators that <clears throat> we work with when they reach out to our different groups. Among our commitments are, well, to promote services, to provide voluntary services to our region, innovation, honesty, and responsibility when carrying out our work supporting the region. The components of our organization are the following. We have four big groups or pillars. First, the program committee in charge of developing our agenda, like the event that brings us all together here today and the broader agenda for our second event of the year in October. They are in charge of content, selecting the papers that you submit when we open the call for submissions, which Jorge, as a member, a long-term member of the program committee, will do in a minute. We have the board, the board of our organization, and we are in charge of managing, managing the organization, as I mentioned already. We are a well-consolidated organization and we are in charge of managing resources for all of the activities that LACNOC carries out. We support this event and we participate in both events during the year. We have our working groups. These are thematic groups, and I will show uh, this in a minute. And each group will have a chair, and the different community members will join the groups that they want to contribute to. And finally, our community. Our community is everyone that interacts with the services that we provide whether they request services and they reach out to us for support or participating as members and contributing with their, with their knowledge to LACNOC's work. How do we add value? LACNOC works and collaborates across the region just as LACNIC does. We work with network operators in Latin America and the Caribbean. So what you see in yellow, in light yellow, is our, <clears throat> it's our working area. And with our efforts and with the different contributions that we make to network operators, we have right now 11 working groups. We have celebrated, well, almost 14, really. We have celebrated almost 14 international events in the past 14 years. And we have over 60 volunteers working with us in this organization. 60 members who work voluntarily. And they are divided across the board, the working groups, the program committee, and 
our staff for website development, communication, and notification that we send to the community at large. Here you have a QR code that you can scan for more information. LACNOC operates with a primary mailing list of operators where we have over 1,300 members. In the mailing list, we discuss technical questions and different aspects that are of interest to our LACNIC members, to our community, to our network operators who also contribute with their experience to the discussions that we have in our mailing list. So if you are not yet a member of the mailing list, please join. And this is our main our main link to LACNOC. Becoming a member of the mailing list would be the first step to join one of the following working groups. This other QR code will take you to our website for well further information. As uh, I don't have much more time for my presentation, but please uh, join on scan the QR code so you can see our website and you can have more information about our different working groups and the people involved and how LACNOC operated. These are the working groups that are active at the moment. Then in yellow, you can see the new one. It's not the new, honestly, because it's been in place for a long time, but now we are focusing on different initiatives to work with operator uh, groups of operators in the different countries, the domestic NOGs, the national NOGs. So that is one particular um, element where we want to focus on in addition to these events. Universal acceptance, the best practices group, the BCOP training, DNS, routing, IETF, the IOT group, the Internet Measurement, National NOGS, and the Peering Forum. The different groups will have a chair. Online, you can see more information about each one. Some people have left uh, already, but if, well, LACNOX members are still here, whether you are a part of the program committee or the different working groups, I will ask you to quickly stand up so people can see who you are and they can approach you for well further information. So if you're here in the room, please stand up, whether you are a member of the program committee or the different working groups, so people can approach you. Tomás, Hernán, Jorge, Hugo. So with the spotlights, I cannot see who's standing up. All right, there they are. OK, thank you. So otherwise, I cannot see anyone else from over here. As LACNOG, in the working group of national NOGs, we're going to start providing a whole set of tools for network operators so that these groups continue working in the countries. Many countries already have set up the network operators groups in those countries, but there are some other countries where they haven't been able to get together as a group. So we support these NOGs right from the moment they set up. And we now wish to provide tools to them so that they can host their website if you wish to include content in a given site where you can share events with the community that you carry out in your countries, documentation or valuable information, vendors in the different countries. And if you wish to have your own website to publish this as LACNOG, we can we'll start helping you with hosting this every year. We could just select three NOGs three national NOGs or three countries that we will be supporting those NOGs that are already set up or those who wish to set up a NOG. 
and we will be giving you the tools so that you can have your virtual meetings. I want to provide support with some virtual laboratories so that you can test different tools or so they can use these as a training tool. And this and the different initiatives that you carry out together with LACNOG or with your network operators group that you might have in your country. <coughs> and also financial support to organize in-person events in those countries. So this is the email address that you have to write to if you are interested in getting in contact with us so that we can start visualizing that support from LACNOG. These are our sites so that you have more information. You can access our website. And for the remains of this event, if you have any questions, there are several uh, of the members of LACNOG here, or also you can write to the email addresses we sent you, or also in the website where you can have contact information. We are at your disposal. Thank you very much. Thank you, Erica. Thank you for this presentation of LACNOG's board. We will now continue the session. Now we're going to have a keynote speaker whom we invited for this session.